Are you having trouble accessing Apple AirPlay on your Roku? Fret not, we know just what you need to do to get this fixed. Stick around till the end of this video and check out all the steps that I mentioned to seamlessly connect your Roku to your Apple device via AirPlay. Now, before we jump into our recommendations and fixes, running a thorough compatibility check for AppPlay on your Roku is imperative. Although most modern Roku devices support AppPlay and AppPlay 2, not all devices share the same fate. Namely, Roku devices that released post-2018 support either AppPlay 1 or AppPlay 2. It's the legacy models like the Roku One that do not support AppPlay. With that said, here are all the devices that support AppPlay as of making this video. Feel free to pause this video and check if your particular model is supported. You can check the model number of your Roku device by going to Settings and then System and then selecting the About option. But the compatibility criteria doesn't end there. Your Roku must be running on Roku OS 10 or higher to support AppPlay. In case you're unsure whether your Roku device is running on a newer update, check for the same by accessing the Settings tab and then the Systems tab and selecting Check for Updates. Your device will now run a check for newer updates. If you have any pending packages, initiate the update to upgrade your Roku to the most recent firmware version. In a similar vein, your Apple device also needs to be running on iOS 12.3 or higher to facilitate AppPlay. You can check and update the firmware of your iOS device by accessing Settings and searching for Update. Last but not the least, ensure that your Apple device and your Roku are connected to the same network. You won't be able to get AppPlay to work if this is not the case. Now, if you can't get AppPlay to work on your Roku, you might need to check a couple of things which are vital for mirroring services to work on your device. The config in question here is the screen mirroring option. If for some odd reason the setting for screen mirroring is disabled, you won't receive any form of pairing prompt for your device. To check and enable screen mirroring on your Roku, head over to the Settings tab and navigate to the System tab. Then select Screen Mirroring and then Screen Mirroring Mode. Choose either Prompt or Always Allow. With that said, now head over to the Apple AppPlay and HomeKit setting on your Roku from the Settings tab. Ensure that AppPlay is properly set up by first toggling on AppPlay. Select Setup and follow the on-screen prompts to facilitate AppPlay on your Roku. Network is crucial when it comes to utilizing AppPlay, specifically the signal between the two devices. So, ensure that both your Apple device and your Roku are in close proximity with each other. Next, check if your network speeds are satisfactory. You can do this by running a speed test on your phone connected to the same network. If the speeds or any other networking parameter seems unstable, consider refreshing your router to get your network back on track. Unplug the router from the power supply and plug it back in after a minute to refresh the system. Next, if you're in the habit of accessing your internet by using a VPN, try disabling it. Although VPNs provide a stronger safety net for accessing the internet, they can impede the network performance in due process. Slower network speeds and high latency are one of the few cons of using a VPN in your network. This can be the reason why AirPlay is failing on your Roku. And with that, I believe that I've touched on everything that I wanted to talk about on fixing AirPlay connections on a Roku. If you found this video useful, do comment your thoughts below, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Roku content like this.